dalawang hole, no? Which is ito po yung ating path D, E, B, C. So, kanina ito yung A, B, C. So, nilagyan ko ng label, dinugtungan ko ng D at saka letter E. No? So, again, pwede po yung numbers, although in this case, we are using letters. So, ngayon, dito sa path D, E, B, C natin, so, ilan ba yung holes natin? Kung ito po yung ating gross area, so, ipro-project lang natin, mayroon po tayo dalawang holes. And then, yung hole natin, na-solve na po natin kanina, we have effective diameter of 31 millimeters. And to solve for our net area, it is simply equal to, again, yung gross area po natin, minus doon sa ating area of Hole. So, alam na alam na natin yan, no? yung ating cross area, it is simply equal to this height multiplied doon sa ating thickness of the plate. So, kung ito yung thickness of the plate natin, 20 millimeter, and this height would be equal to A plus G plus A, which is equal to 40 plus 60 plus 40. So, isulat natin dito. Parehas lang sila, 40 plus 60 plus 40, we have again 140 millimeters. And then yung thickness of the plate natin, again siya ay 20 millimeters. So therefore, yung gross area po natin, parehas pa rin siya na 140 millimeters times 20. So again, our gross area would be 2,800 millimeters. So, so, so similar lang siya dun sa gross area na na-solve natin. So, going back to our solution, meron na tayong gross area. Ang kailangan naman natin isolve ay yung ating area of holes. So, ngayon, yung area of holes. So, ilan na ba yung holes natin ngayon? So, we are dealing with 1, 2. So, meron na po tayong dalawang butas. So, yung butas natin, para masolve natin siya, 1, 2, meron tayong dalawa. And then, naalamin lang natin yung kanyang effective diameter multiplied again doon sa ating thickness. Where in, na-solve na natin yung ating effective diameter, it is equal to 31 multiplied doon sa ating thickness na 20 millimeters. So, therefore, our area of holes is equal to 1,240 square millimeters. So, meron na tayong area of growth for path DEBC. Meron din tayong area of holes for path DEBC. So, therefore, we could definitely solve for our area net. So, yung net area natin, again, gross area minus area of holes. We're in yung gross area natin, 2,800. And then, yung area of holes natin is 1,240. So, input na natin ito doon sa ating equation. We will have 2,800 minus 1,240. So, therefore, our net area is equal to 1,560 square millimeters. So, tama na po ba yan? Okay. So, ngayon, ito yung net area kung wala tayong staggered connection. No? Kaya lang, makikita natin mayroon tayong slant. So, wag na wag po natin kakalimutan yung Cochrane's equation wherein kailangan natin idagdag po yung additional na S squared over 4G at multiply po natin dun sa thickness to account for the slant ng ating net area. So, going back to our equation, so meron tayong S squared over 4G at huwag kakalimutan multiply sa thickness. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung ginagawa ng ating Cochrane's equation wherein nagdadagdag tayo ng value dun sa area net, so, syempre, kapag tayo ay nagdagdag ng value, mas lalaki yung ating area, mas lalaki yung area to resist our load, mas lalaki yung capacity ng ating tension member. No? So, that's why yung ating staggered connection po, again, ay ginagawa natin in practice para mas malaki yung area na magre-resist doon sa ating tensile forces no so dito sa ating area net so i-substitute na natin yung mga values na alam natin so yung s squared daw po natin 75 ang idadagdag natin 75 squared all over sa 4g yung g po natin this is our gauge this is our gauge 60 at wag kakalimutan i-multiply sa t which is Ayun, 20 millimeters. So, therefore, yung net area po natin, kailangan natin idagdag yung 
Cochrane's equation dahil is staggered po tayo and to account for the slant ng ating area. So, therefore, our area net should be 2,028.75 square millimeters. So, kung mapapansin natin, i-compare natin itong area net ni staggered which is this value, 2,000. I-compare natin siya kay path ABC. 